Hey everybody, this is CP Real 43 and I've got a brand new update for you guys. So, I just got back from Super Train today. It was an awesome show and I really enjoyed it. So this is the show guide that I got. And uh, at the back, uh, I'll start it off with this uh, Rapido advertisement. Um, I, had see, I went to the uh, Rapido um, desk or um, little layout that they had uh, where they were doing their showing their stuff. I, I, I forget the words, I'm sorry. Uh, but anyways, and the, on their uh, layout they had their new F40PH 2D. It was a, a, it was a single model and it was really awesome. Every single detail that was on it. And it, I'll say, very detailed locomotive for sure. Uh, Rapido, I say they did a hands down job. Fantastic. Uh, Athern was there as well. And I got to see their, they actually had a CP um, SD60 that they were doing. And like on the uh, pictures, the numbering is incorrect. It's still in the Sioux uh, font when it should be in their uh, Swiss. 721 um, medium black italic font uh, so it's one reason why I'm not getting the SD60 another reason is because it doesn't fit my era and uh, I'd much actually I'd much rather prefer uh, the Sioux SD60 but anyways the F40PH is really cool and the guys that were there uh, Dan Garcia and Mike McGratton Mike was actually the guy who helped me um, when I was uh, trying to get the uh, fiber optic tubes for the caboose. So uh, I was dealing with him through email. Uh, I didn't get to talk to them or anything because they were really busy. But it was sur super cool to see those to see the two there. And that, uh, yeah. So I'm going to start off with this right here. This is a super cool thing that's happening. It's Bowser's uh, soon to be soon run on the GMD SD40-2s. Fully Canadian models and detailed to the to the road to the road number. So uh, in that case the road number I'd like to get is 6040. Detail it is has the most details and options and um, what's really cool about these units is not only that they're detailed to their road number but they are also they also have this operating class lights individually controlled with numbers 1, 2, and 3 class light configurations. Now that is super cool. Just imagine you running your um, SD40-2 with a class lights and you can control them any way you want. It's basically running like in the 80s but with DCC. Super, super cool. Uh, something that I really, want, really, really don't want to mess out. Now here's the prices. You ready? Your eyes are not deceiving you. They're not. They are not. And I will now uh, confirm that it is 200 bucks for an analog locomotive, 300 bucks for a DCC and sound unit. Your eyes are not deceiving you again. So, yes, they are that expensive, but I am still wanting to get one ordered in. I'd like to get the DCC and sound unit just because I am, it is most likely and it's bound to have the right controls and everything for the functions of the class lights. The deep, the analog locomotive, it's a hit or miss. Uh, it could just have an, a motor in there and the lights and everything, but the class lights, they might not have them. So DCC and sound, that's the way to go. Um, but yeah, look at all the stuff they got. It's really cool, and uh, I really, I'm really excited to uh, that when these come out. Actually, pre-orders are due uh, by the July 1st, and so I'm going to try and fire an email off to the uh, hobby shop soon, and I'm gonna see if he'll be willing to um, pre-order some of these. Um, just because uh, he only orders through uh, Walters, but he also like when I wanted the AC44s by Athern. Um, those weren't through Walters, he had to do that by Athern, and that was by my request. So, I really hope he will do the same for these. Um, but yeah. Now we'll move on to the stuff I got. Um, this was all just from my only money, which was 15 bucks. And I'm start off with this. Athern Blue Box. A dummy locomotive. Baltimore and Ohio. 
9856 FP45 cowl locomotive. Uh, otherwise called the Draper Taper, like uh, lots of us call them. They're really easy to remember and they are really cool. Um, I don't like this paint scheme, however. Uh, no offense to Baltimore and Ohio lov lovers, I just I don't find it appealing. But um, I do plan on keeping this unit, and I might even repaint it at some point, um, possibly to Montana Rail Link. Uh, if that's not the case, then I will do it towards um, a custom paint job. I will have more information on this locomotive later. Um, I'll just show you the inside, however. Um, I can tell, I could tell you can't really see in the camera, but I could easily tell as soon as I opened this up the first time, it was like sitting in a garage or something for like years. Cobwebs and the trucks and even a dead spider in this one, which freaked me out. I hate spiders and uh, it's just, <clears throat> anyways, but yeah, that's the cool thing that I got and I'll have an update on that in the next update. Uh, other thing I got. I got these two lapel pins, a CP Real one and a Via one. This is a system dual flags one. And I got this. This was a single, it was a one kind Via one. Out of all the others that were there, I got this one. Just It just stood out the most. I really like it. So yeah, super cool. And I really enjoyed having them. Um, but I think that's about it. And uh, I will have more stuff on these in the uh, upcoming weeks. So um, I hope you enjoyed this update, and until next time, this is CP Real 43, and good luck.